Namaste and welcome to Refill Yoga. Today we're going to be practicing a series of Kriya designed to increase vital energy and motivation. This is the perfect set if you're ever feeling low, down, stuck, lazy, and want to give yourself that boost to get up, to get out there, and to start accomplishing things in your life. If that sounds good to you, grab your yoga mat and let's get ready to practice together. So we'll start by coming into a comfortable seated position, tuning in, setting space for the class, and then we'll begin with the practice. So find your comfortable seat, whatever that means for you, where you can press down into the sits bones, reach up to the crown of the head, find length between the vertebrae, roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open, relaxed. Then I invite you to close the eyes, turn inside, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Then open the mouth and sigh it out. Oh, soften the body. Soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. Releasing with a sigh. Oh, and let that sigh vibrate your nervous system, bringing you more into the body, more into the present moment. One more time, deep inhalation. Sniff in as much as you can, even more. And let go. Oh. Sitting with the eyes closed. Attention turned inside. We'll start by tuning in with the Adi Mantra. Ang Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to the collective consciousness for inspiration. I bow to the Guru within for guidance. Hands together in front of the heart, sitting nice and tall. Inhale to chant. Aung. times. inhalation. Suspend the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals and anus. Turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, Shambhavi Mudra. Equalize the energy in the third eye center. And release and relax. Lower the hands to the lap. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the resulting vibrations from tuning in with the Yari Mantra. Connected with your inner self, your inner guru. Mm, and gently coming back. Beautiful. We're going to start warming up with some Sufi grind. So start by leaning forward, then rotating towards the right, round back, left and forward. You can inhale as you come forward, exhale as you round back. Really try to awaken the full spine. Inhaling, reaching the chest and heart forward. Exhale, rounding back. Move with the breath. Let it be fluid. Try to make the circles as big as you can, really awakening the entire spine, each vertebrae. And the next time you come to the front, we switch directions, opposite direction. Still inhaling forward, exhaling back, waking up the spine. It's always important that we wake up the spine because along the spine is the central channel, Shushumna Nadi. All the main energy channels run through the spine. So in Kundalini Yoga, we always say, healthy spine is a healthy mind. Or you're as young as your spine is flexible. Because the more flexibility, mobility we can bring, the more we allow that energy to move throughout our being.
And the next time you come to the front, take a deep inhalation. Sit nice and tall, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals, anus, lower belly. And relax. Beautiful. Holding on to the shins, we're going to do spinal flexing. So inhaling from the center of the chest forward, exhale rounding back. Inhaling forward, exhale rounding back. Again, trying to get the full movement from the pelvis all the way up into the throat here. No need to go super fast right now. We're just warming up. We're waking up the energy channels. Make sure the breath is connected with the movement because this is what's going to encourage the energy to flow along the spine. Energy flows in waves. So we do this wave-like motion to encourage that energy to flow throughout our body. Beautiful. Take a deep inhalation. Sit nice and tall. Suspend the breath. Squeeze Mula Bandha. Turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead. Stabilize your energy. And release. Beautiful. We have one more movement. We're going to do some uh, shoulder shrugs. So sitting with the hands on the knees or in the lap, we inhale the shoulders up and we exhale, drop them. Deep inhalation, lift the shoulders, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contract the legs, the shoulders, the face, the throat, squeeze all the muscles and turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead. And release. Beautiful, relax. Feel this opening of energy through your body after this quick warm-up session. Hmm. Beautiful. We're going to continue our practice now, opening those energy channels and purifying them even more with breath of fire. We'll do one minute of breath of fire, fast breathing, in and out through the nose. Remember, you can go slower or you can go faster. The idea is that it's a rapid breath and the inhalation and exhalation are equal. Okay? Let's prepare sitting nice and tall, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation, and through the nose, begin the breath of fire. Deep inhalation, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contract the genitals and anus, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, visualize rising this energy up to Ajna Chakra. And release, relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, feeling the further expansion of energy, purifying of the nervous system. Clearing of the thoughts. Hmm, very good. We're going to make our way up to standing now. Continue warming the body with some rounds of Surya Namaskar. So come up to standing. We'll come to the 
front of the mat. Feet are hip distance apart, parallel, standing nice and tall. Bring the hands together in front of the heart, pressing down to the heels, reaching up to the crown of the head. Take a deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation. And we begin inhaling up and back. Exhale, diving down. Step the left leg back, left knee to the mat, sink into the hips, inhale, open the chest. Exhale back into plank pose. Nice strong plank, pressing back through the heels, reaching forward to the crown, pelvis is tucked, deep inhalation. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, elbows hug the ribs. Pressing into the hands, inhale, sliding forward to cobra pose. Exhale back into down dog. First down dog of the day, so take a moment to walk it out. Bending one knee, press the opposite heel down. Wake up the back of the legs, rock the hips, rock the shoulders. Really connect with your body in this moment. And make your way into stillness. With the next inhalation, step the left foot forward, right knee to the mat, sink into the hips, open the chest. Exhale, stepping forward, forward, fold. Inhale all the way up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And we begin again, inhaling up and back. Exhale, diving down. Right foot steps back, knee to the mat. Inhale, sink into the hips, open the chest. Exhale back into plank, take a deep inhalation, exhale lower knees, chest and chin, pressing into the hands, inhale through to cobra, shoulders down from the ears, exhale back into down dog, breathe here, hmm. beautiful, with the next inhalation we step the right foot forward, left knee to the mat, sink into the hips, inhale open the chest. Exhale, left foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, all the way up and back. And exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath here. Relaxing exhalation. Two more rounds, inhaling up and back. Exhale, diving down. Left foot steps back, knee to the ground. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale to plank, deep inhalation. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Left foot steps forward, inhale. Right foot steps forward, exhale. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Standing nice and tall, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And last one, inhale up and back. Exhale, folding forward. Right foot steps back, inhale. Open the chest and heart. Exhale to plank. Deep inhalation. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Right foot steps forward, inhale. Left foot steps forward, exhale. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the effect of these four rounds of Surya Namaskar. Awakening of the energy channels throughout the body. Creating heat, vital energy and motivation. Hmm. Beautiful. Gently coming back. We'll make our way back down to the mat. So the next practice we're going to be doing to boost our vital energy and, and get that motivation going is one of my favorite practices. It's the frog pose. So frog pose is a really dynamic, somewhat challenging pose, but that's what really helps to boost our motivation. Uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be in a squatting position. And the idea here is we want to have the heels off the floor, touching each other. 
and the knees are open. So this is the down position. From here we inhale and straighten the legs, drop the head down, and then we exhale as we come back up, okay? Sometimes we count this. Today we're just going to do it by time. So we're going to do two minutes. So it's really up to you. You can go very fast, you can go very slow. If you've got knee issues, of course, take it careful. You don't have to do the full lengthening of the legs. You can just do a little bit. Uh, always make the practice work for you, okay? So we've got two minutes on the clock. Take a deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation, and inhale to straighten the legs, exhale down. Continue. Inhaling hips up, exhaling hips down. Make sure to keep those heels off the floor. You're doing amazing. We're over halfway through already. Keep going, you got this. With this kind of Kundalini Yoga, you gotta think about it as an investment. The more you invest now, the more you will get returned to you after the practice. So get of it everything you've got right now. Invest in yourself, invest in your vitality, invest in the energy that motivates you. Last 20 seconds, almost there. Come down, take a deep inhalation. Hold the breath, squeeze Mulabanda, focus in the middle of the forehead. And release, relax, lower down to sitting. Eyes closed, tension inside. Witness the energy moving through your being. Feel the strong activation of the cardiovascular system. The burning away of heavy, stagnant energies. The fire that purifies, that motivates. Hmm, beautiful. Gently coming back. The next practice we're gonna be doing is a great practice for moving this energy up. So we've just stimulated a ton of energy, especially in the lower chakras, Muladhara, Manipura. <sighs> I'm still a little out of breath, but I'm gonna explain this so you've got some time. The next practice we're gonna be doing is Satkriya. Satkriya is this beautiful practice too lift the energy up to elevate us, really purifying the energy of the first three chakras, our feelings of stability, sexuality, willpower, and confidence. Uh, to perform Sat Kriya, we're gonna be sitting in a kneeling position. If you can, you can sit in Virasana, where we sit between the heels, so the uh, thighs are parallel and we sit between the heels. If that's not accessible, you can sit directly on the heels in Vajrasana. And if you need any block or cushion to make it comfortable for you, please take it. You can place a block under the hips. You can place a folded towel between the ankles and the hips. It's, it's completely up to you. Always make it comfortable for you. So in this posture, whichever kneeling position is available to you, 
or sitting in a chair, it can be an option too. We're going to interlace the fingers. If you want to increase the masculine energy, the right thumb goes on top. If you want to increase the feminine energy, the left thumb goes on top. With the fingers enlaced, we extend the index fingers, making this pew <laughs> sort of shape. The idea is it's helping us to raise the energy up. We're going to have the arms up overhead, as straight as possible, biceps by the ears. And you'll notice as you do this, maybe you start to bend a little bit. Try to stay as vertical as possible. Really reaching up, have this intention of reaching up the whole time. And here we're going to chant the mantra, Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Truth is my identity. Connecting with that eternal, unchanging, divine nature within us. The truth that's within us. Sat Nam. We chant it uh, out loud. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. And the idea is here, when we say Sat, we want to pull the navel in and push that energy up. It's like an explosion in the navel. Sat. And when we say Nam, we relax it. Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam, sat, nam. Don't worry about a specific breathing pattern. The breath will just take care of itself. Focus on that explosion of navel, chanting out loud the mantra. Don't be inhibited. Tap into that inner truth and let this raise your vibration. I'm very uh, encouraged after these frogs, can you tell? We're going to do this for three minutes, okay? So interlace the fingers, choosing whichever variation you like. Extend the index fingers, arms up overhead, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation, close the eyes, internalize the awareness, and let's begin. Sat Nam, 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 Sat Nam 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 sat deep inhalation hold the breath squeeze mulabanda contract the genitals and anus send the energy up 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 all the way to the top of the head send it up send it up
And release, relax, lower the hands to the lap. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the continued rising of energy from the practice of Satkriya. The enhancement of your vital energy. Vibrations and pulsations throughout your entire being. And gently coming back, beautiful. Now we're gonna move the spine a little bit more to encourage this energy dispersing through the body. Uh, if you're not already, come to sitting on the heels and we're gonna do a spinal flexing. Hands in the lap, we inhale, chest forward, we exhale back. We're gonna do this for two minutes. Now you can go whatever pace feels right for you. You can start slow, pick it up. It's your practice. Let's begin, inhale forward, exhale back. Make sure you coordinate the breath with the movement. I recommend, if it's possible for you, to do a more powerful sniff and throw type breath. Make sure you're moving from the center of the chest, getting this flexing along the whole spine. Dispersing this beautiful vital energy throughout your being. Deep inhalation, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contract the genitals and the anus, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, Shambhavi Mudra, send the energy up. And release, relax. Make your way down to lying on your back. Beautiful. We have two more practices in this series, and then we're going to take a Shavasana and then finish the practice after the Shavasana with a short meditation. Uh, next, we're going to perform stretch pose. So from lying on the back, we're going to lift the shoulders and heels just a little bit off the floor, point the toes, reach the fingers, palms are facing each other, keep the eyes open, gazing towards the toes, and here we're going to perform the breath of fire for one minute. Really try to keep your lower back pressed to the floor. If you need to, you can place your hands under the uh, hips for support. Make, or you can bend the knees a little bit. Make the practice work for you. Okay, let's begin. Coming up, lifting the shoulders and heels. Deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation, and begin the breath of fire. <laughs>
Hold the position, deep inhalation. Hold the breath, squeeze Mulabandha, send the energy up, send it up, send it up. And release, relax. Lowering down to lying. Eyes closed, attention inside. Witnessing the energy moving through you. Activation of Manipura Chakra at the navel. Increasing inner strength, motivation, willpower. Hmm. We have one more practice, again for the navel, and then we move into a Shavasana. We have the hands by the hips, and we're going to do leg raises. We inhale the legs up to 90 degrees, and we exhale, lowering them down. Okay, we're going to do this for one minute. Again, try to keep the lower back pressed to the ground throughout to protect the spine. If you need to, again, you can place your hands under the hips for support. Make the practice work for you. One minute, let's begin. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale the legs straight up, keep the legs up, hold the breath, squeeze Mulavanda. send the energy up the spine, up to the middle of the forehead, Ajna Chakra. And release, lower the legs, lower down to lying on your back. And we take this time now to completely relax, to let everything go, allow all these energies we've worked on to move through the body, to settle where they're needed for our healing, growth, and expansion.
And gently coming back to your body, preparing to reawaken with little movements of the toes and fingers, rotations of the wrists and ankles, dropping the head from side to side to release the neck. And when you're ready, take a deep inhalation, reach the arms overhead, big stretch. Oh, hug the knees into the chest to release the lower back. Rocking side to side to massage the spine. Then we start spinal rocking forward and back from the hips to the shoulders. Massaging the spine a couple times. And make your way up to a comfortable seated position. We'll finish with a short meditation. Bring the hands into Gyan Mudra. Thumb and index finger are touching, resting in the lap on the knees. Close the eyes. Bring your awareness to the breath, the flow of respiration in and out through the nose. And start to visualize yourself accomplishing, succeeding. Visualize yourself with the energy to accomplish all your goals. Feel that sense of success and achievement throughout your being.
Beautiful. We'll close today's class by chanting together one time the mantra, Sat Nam, a long Sat and a short Nam. Bring the hands together in front of the heart, sitting nice and tall. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. Inhale to chant. So. Satnam everyone, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this class, a sub to the channel would be expansive. And if you'd like to experience more of what we have to offer here at Refill Yoga, I encourage you to check out our website, refillyoga.com, where we share uh, more advanced practices, advanced teachings. And right now, if you want to join, we're offering a free seven-day trial for anybody that signs up to the membership. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I can't wait to see you in the next class. Namaste.